Hey nosy rats, time for a little bit of info for the game. Currently, the Summer Paradise event is happening and soon the Halloween event around October, so this year, the lore event also known as the Mystery of the Keys event, will be a shorter one, and yes, Urzik will be returning along with a new creature. Unlike last year's lore event, the missions and mini-games this year will probably be a little easier as a lot of people had struggled with last year's event. It is possible that Koss will get the gigantism or dwarfism mutations, but because they are busy with the events right now, and once they get a clearing for these mutations, it is definitely a possibility that those mutations could be added and some more new mutations to spice things up. Arithia has also suggested a female buff, where if you are a female creature, and if you have mutations on, there will be a higher chance to pass on the mutation to the people that you are nesting. Arithia has said that NPCs will not be added in COS as the recode was done to optimize the experience for mobile players. Adding something like NPCs will increase what the players will need to load in because NPCs aren't just a creature but an entity that the server now needs to load in, so that players can see those NPCs and when things need to load on the server it takes a lot of data, it is really hard to optimize things that everybody needs to see at one time. It also requires animations and have its own systems, like if they will react to the player, attack the player, run away or food types they drop. NPCs are a bulky system and causes a lot of issues to mobile players. NPCs are not likely to be added back but, Erythia has suggested something like a mini-boss that spawns in the overworld that everybody can work together to take down to get food from as it is only one AI. This will get a protection zone around it so that players can't attack each other. 